Hi there. Our read aloud today is titled From Caterpillar to Butterfly. The author is Deborah Hilligman. The illustrator is Barry Weissman. The author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures. As you listen to the story, think about the ways that the caterpillar changes in order to become a butterfly. Our question of the week is how do animals change as they grow? Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in the gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. My friends, can you say the word metamorphosis? Metamorphosis is a word that means change. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. Can you find the eggs on the leaf on this page? When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat, so it will grow and grow and grow. The, the caterpillar is also called a larva. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a silk button. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. The chrysalis stage is also called the pupa stage. Every day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. The caterpillar stays in the chrysalis about one week. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look! And we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. Boys and girls, we call this emerging. So the butterfly is emerging 
from his chrysalis. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs on the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. In two hours the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It's a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. The egg will hatch into a caterpillar, and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. The caption on this page tells us, Painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, zinnia, butterfly bush, and mint. In this illustration, you can see the butterfly's proboscis. That's the straw-like piece that the butterfly drinks the nectar through. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. The monarch is found in most areas of the United States. The black swallowtail, found in all areas but the very far west. The cabbage white is found throughout the United States. The dog-faced butterfly is found throughout the south and migrates through the Midwest to the northeast of Canada. The common blue is found in the western part of the United States. The buckeye is found in most areas of the United States except the Pacific Northwest. Thank you for reading and enjoying the story with me, my friends.